weapons. Wolfie, where you at, bruh? Well, shit. All right, let me quick continue reading this here. Remember, you've got the key. Open the door to the left. Not the main. Get there faster. If the marker is on, is off on the outside. Wait, what? Oh, shit! Okay. So, apparently, I gotta reload a f further back. So, apparently, according to this guide, if you kill Einhar, that kind of locks you into the, the bad version of this quest. If I'm understanding this correctly. Because by saying that you just kill the guy is just like the scorched earth policy. It's more or less that you gotta tell the guy, we don't have to fight... And then it leads into the option of, I want to try to lift the curse. So I wasn't able to do that because I killed the guy. So we need to find a far enough back section. Now, this checkpoint right here was at 845. This is eight minutes earlier. So this should be before we killed everybody. Wow, so we have to not... Damn! Ugh. I didn't think that killing his friend would have any basis on the werewolf. Time later, the wild hunt had reappeared on Kingsfjall, meaning Siri too might have returned. We're gonna get this, damn it! All right, so find a way into the flooded cave. Okay, so we were at this part. So we need to lift the third sluice gate. Swim underneath, find the information, and then go back to find the, uh, his friend. This actually isn't that far back. Hey, Blondie! You know what you are? You're a pow wow! Wow, wow, wow! There's moving here. Must be another cave above, or a way out. Bones fell through the crevice years ago. Okay. So now we unlock the door. We get his journal, we go talk to his friend, and then we don't kill everybody. This is a weird concept to me, I'm sorry. Don't kill everybody. That's kind of like me walking into a room and saying, you know what, I don't need to loot this place. I don't really understand. It is a fantastic movie, Good, Bad, and the Ugly. I like it. I wish Van Cleef had better movies in terms of where, like, he was actually a good guy sometimes. He's a great actor. Always a bad man. Did, no, that was a different body. That was a different body. Oh, damn it! Oh, I missed the hill by that much! That is some bullshit! Ah! If you land on that hill, you take, like, that much damage. If you miss the hill, you die. I'm just saying it's bullshit. Oh, we didn't need to go out anyway. I had to check the chapter house. Herp! Narp! Harp! Derbut! Wow! Wow, wow. 
I'm gonna be so ticked off if, like, getting this necklace, doing everything else, and the werewolf bro just ends up being like, you know what? Fluff y'all. Fluff this place. I'm just gonna try to kill everyone anyway. Just saying. Alright, so we got his journal. Hi <sighs> yeah. Let's read his journal. He was a kind of sort of nice guy. Well, he's been in a couple of movies where he wasn't necessarily the main villain. He makes a really good main villain, though. But... Okay, that was a little more damage than that. But... Alright, so. Einar, you lied to me, but we don't have to fight. Hey. Wee. No balls. Okay. Fluff everything. I've been trying to, Slayer. It's not as easy as it was in the first game. In the first game, that was pretty much your reward for every single thing. Oh, Mr. Witcher, you done saved me from a bandit. Meet me at the old mill after midnight. Bring a bottle of wine. Greetings. Praise prayer. Liar. What? <laughs> I swear it on the great mother's tits. Cut the act. Don't buy your pie. Liar. Oh god, there's a guy behind me. Man. Well, well. Sharp yarn. Didn't see one thing, though. Lads here around me, they're mine. Arm to the teeth to the man. Let me introduce you. I'm no knight errant. I'm a witcher. Didn't come here to bring you to justice. Digging up the past? What's that for? Need to know what actually happened in the garden. Gonna lift Morkvark's curse. Ah! Why would you bloody do that? Orson should suffer till Ragnarok. The day after, actually. Might surprise you, but I couldn't care less what a lying murderer has to say. Compared <laughs> to Morkvark. I'm a plowing saint. Don't care! I read it often and cruelly. Killed women, children, whatever my axe happened to hit. But priestesses, it was too much, even for me. When. How the hell does that make a when difference? When it was over, Morkvog was drinking with the rest. I took this out. Wolfang pendant, covered in runes. I got it from my dark. Who was god I of our village? Told me that anyone I cut with a fan would suffer a fate worse than death. Spoke true, it seems. Your pop pop mentioned how to reverse this. Victim needs to get the fan is off, but I'll not give it to you. That horse on. Oh, so we're probably gonna have to end up killing the guy anyway. Stop Listen, that guy behind me! I don't like him. They really long to get their garden back. And as I see it, you owe them, don't you think? All right, take it. But it don't come free. Want one thing in return. Won't tell anyone about your past, give you my word. Not that. If you do, I'll just find you and kill you. Yeah, why? Once Morkvog's human again, you can't let him leave. No matter what. Yeah, I'll make no promises to you, dude. Um, but uh... So we got the necklace before, but we didn't know how to use it. So we just ended up having the item and not knowing what it was for. Damn! I am usually, I usually try to go out of my way to make sure that nobody dies, but... This one, this one got me. Because usually, it seems in terms of... Why is there a goat up here? I'm just milking it. Or skinning it but um it in my experiences with this game what tends to happen is you have a choice between either doing everything that the non-humans want you to do or something that the humans want you to do and i thought this was going to be the same situation basically where it was going to be like agree to help the werewolf kill the humans carry on with your stuff 
But what I was saying in terms of, like, I fail to see the difference between killing a bunch of women and killing priestesses. I'm sorry, but a priestess, a priest, a reverend, a, a bishop, whatever you want to call it, is just a human who claims to speak with some holy power. Like, however you look at it, killing people is still killing people. You can try to rationalize killing other men or women if they're, like, defending themselves in terms of, like, hey, we're all warriors here, let's kill each other until we're all dead and then go about our business. That's right, Ash, it seems that it wasn't the goddess's curse at all. How nice is that? It was a member of his own crew who ended up cursing him. That's... I, I... So it seems that their goddess, Freya, couldn't give a shit about what happened. Isn't that nice? Or, I guess you could make the alternate argument of, well, all things happen for a reason, and I'm sure the goddess Freya allowed that pendant to do its extra work, but... Must have smelled something beyond it. I know. Oh, no, I know. I mean, we've seen the town of Novigrad in this game, who, because of religious fervor, are killing everyone who's not human. That very much strengthens my perception of how much I dislike holy people. In my opinion, in this game, holy people are shittier than regular people. They're a step above non-sentient monsters. And sentient monsters are on the same level as people. Hell, usually sentient monsters are on the same level as just, well, they're above people. Because they're usually just like, listen, this is my home. I'm a defendant. And that's it. Whereas sentient people are like, this is my home, and I want that stuff over there too. Let's kill them. Hey, best noob, how's it going? Oh, man. Starting to envy you. I mean, at least, okay. There is a huge difference, though, between the holy people in Skellige, where we are right now, and the holy people on the continent, which is the Eternal Fire. The holy people in Skellige actually do commune with nature, do seem to have a lot of faith and a lot of belief in their goddess, and it tends to do them a lot of good, whereas in the Church of the Eternal Fire, um, it just seems to be a lot of bigotry and hate. So, I should give a pass to the priestesses here. If Kay. I have to, of all ears. While this is going on, I'm going to go upstairs real quick and see if anyone is downloading something. My game should not be doing this. We've had 20 days of streams without a single hiccup, and now we're having small issues. Love me in here. Know what I did? Uh, I bet my leg off uh, to free myself. Uh, every bite uh, brought pain. Uh, and I, I, I vomited blood. Uh -huh. Biting off your own limbs hurts. Who would have thunk? You don't understand. <gasps> This was more. My mouth burned like swallowing fire. If all inside me was torn, I felt I would die. But I, I did it. And then. It's the weather. I shredded them, washed them to bits, made tiny crumbs. Ah. Oh, those flying heroes. Ah. Expect okay. me to pity you. No, I want you to understand. Ah. You cannot kill me. You cannot stop me. I'll not be bound. 